So me and the boys are gonna spend 24 hours in a rainforest. Ow. I'm itchy. We're all city boys, except for Chris. So it's gonna be a little rough. Yo, I'm already itching my butt sack off. This one's gonna be a little different than normal. We're not using tents. We have to build our own shelter and survive with the stuff on our back. So have any of you guys done this before? We did it in the desert, but we had tents. You're stuck taking care of all of us. Right here. No way, land! Whoa, whoa, chill, chill. Chandler! Please put your machete away. Put it away. Oh. Okay. All right, first thing, you need to focus on shelter, food, and water, okay. and fire. Hey. Fire's the biggest one. I want to be able to sleep tonight. We're going to have to make shelters. How? Shelter, I'll work on it. food, okay. water. If the water's moving really fast, you can drink it. Where are you going? Chris. Found it, we brought water. Chris, we're done. All right, so Chandler, we're going to go get sticks. I might as well be naked. We have a bottle of water. We don't need water. I got another one, guys. We're good. Okay. Can't prepare. Chris, we're going rogue. Thanks. He said we could. Before we get too far, I want to show you what's in our bags. Because this is literally all we brought. A pillow. You got a pillow? That's nice. What'd you bring? Uh, a poncho. It's not bad. I got... You got a poncho too. Wow, really? Literally half my bag is first aid. Useless. I'd rather have a donut. Why, why do I have like five ponchos in here? Hey, we got some bug spray. I got granola bars. Really? Whoa. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> oh, talk about shelter. Look at that. Chris, would it be helpful if we went and found more dead trees? Yes, actually, very. Okay, let's go. So, we found wood, Chandler. Yes, we did. Chris would carry it back. There's a bee. Oh, should, I'm not we, touching. should we wait for the bee? That is the bee's wood. That's him. Awesome. We need more wood. We're gonna take one for the team and collect firewood. Chris is gonna be proud of us. Can you give me a dry test? The moisture? Yeah, yeah. Okay, get rid Sorry. of that one. My bad. All right, I think we have enough for a fire. Bump me. Chris would be happy. Let's take it back to camp. Gosh, we have to go like an hour back to camp. Yeah, I know. So, oh. This journey is we so- We made it. If you were Chris, where would you put a pile of sticks? I feel like he would yell and then put them right there. Perfect. We're gonna try not to cut down too many trees because it's not good for the environment, but a hurricane actually recently came through, so there are a lot of trees that have fallen. Before we started doing our own thing, Chris told us to get water. Chris, what do we carry the water in? See if you can find some scrap water bottles around here and fill them up. Okay, we found some bottles. Whoops. We're gonna go find a river. Wait. I gotta let my Shh. river go. That way. What did you hear? Water. Wait, hold up. That way. How's he doing? I don't know. Here we are. I told you guys, if you listen to the ears, you get water. So what would Chris do? He said, fast moving water is able to be drinking. All right, I got my water. Drink it. <laughs> is it gross? I had gum in. Oh, water and gum doesn't go well. Wow, it's actually not good, bad at all. Now that we have water, we have to figure out how to get back to camp. Because to be honest, we were just walking in random directions. You want to just set up our own camp? We could build a fire right here. But this place is kind of loud. Okay, are we going back to Chris? I don't think we're ready to live on our own. Part of me wants to try to survive on our own, but part of me also realizes it will suck even worse than Chris yelling at us. I think you're right. So I'm gonna go back. All right, bye. Wait, Chandler, you're staying? I really want to go up there. It's pretty cool. Good luck, sir. Be safe. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Bye. Bye. Are you not worried about him? Bye. <laughs> ah! Look at this. We're about to go explore this. Bye. I love you. Say it back. Bye. <laughs> Say it back. Hi. This is Adventure Time with Chandler. I'm on a little rock in the middle of the water. Look what I just found. Hold on, hold on. Look at this little worm. Look at him. But I'm, I'm out of water and I have no food. And I'm pretty far away from camp. I don't know how to get back. What is wrong with me? Hey Chris, I got water. Wait, where's Chandler? He ran away. Ingest that water so we have energy to go find Chandler. It's not even full. I drank some. How does it taste? Like, I seriously, it's straight from a river. So where is he really? I don't know, he ran away. I really he don't know. He legit ran away, like I'm not kidding. Do we just want to accept that he's gone and out of our lives? Or do we want to go look for him? Well, there's bears. They're very aggressive. Okay. Chandler looks like food. Let's go find him. Let's go find Chandler. Chandler! Ah! Chandler! Wait guys, stop moving. I have a great idea. We have food! We have mac and cheese! Wow, dude, this is serious. Chandler! Chris, what are you about to do? I'm about to go swimming. 
Chris, I have a confession. Me and Chandler were gonna camp here on our own. So what were you gonna use for like tents and stuff? Well, that's why we didn't do it. Cause we need you. Thank you. So is Chandler actually lost? He literally just went that way. How cold is that? Oh, very. Oh wow, look at that. You ready? What are you about to do? Wait, no, 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 don't trust fall behind there. No, no, under. don't do it, don't do it, don't, oh, okay. I thought he was gonna trust fall. You know, my wife really doesn't like it when I'm in my underwear, but I tell her other women aren't attracted to me. No woman is. She's just the only crazy one. Yo, you look like Tarzan right now. What you looking for? Uh-oh. You smell a Chandler? Smell it! Did you know I'm a champion stone skipper? Wait, are you really? Yeah, you wanna see it? All right, let's see it. All right. A big boy. Oh! Chandler, buddy, you ran away and... Oh, I ran away. I got worried. I got worried. I did. You Hug this? me. I'm sorry. It's okay. We did it. Yeah. We're reunited as a family. Hey guys, whatever happened to that campsite? It's over there. So we made it back to the camp. We got our Chan Chan back. Hey. Chris is trying to start a fire. Jake is being a big dude like normal. Chris is spinning a stick on another stick. Someone's got to do it and we're happy you're doing it. So while we were having to look for you Chandler, we depleted all our energy. So it only makes sense you do everything from here on out. Everything? Everything. Logical. We need food. Can you find some berries? I'll need a weapon. It's berries, not bears. We got rid of them, it's okay. All right, so we're spreading the wood out and then we're just gonna put ponchos on it and we'll be good. All right guys, so things aren't looking good for Chandler. He's getting pale, his pupils are dilated. And seriously, I don't want him to get hurt. Basically, Chandler was bit by something we think is poisonous. How do you feel? I feel like my motor skills don't work. <sighs> All right, boys, we lost Chandler. I'm gonna join you guys. So the reason why we have the fire doing a lot of smoke is to keep some mosquitoes away. What's gonna happen if this log just breaks and falls on us in the middle of the night? Right here, this sharp thing will probably go right into your face. This log right here is on a perfect trajectory right for my face. I'm in between two logs, so I'm fine. In between two logs sounds like a sitcom. You gonna stick it out with us? Man, I'm here to the end, brother. Aww. I ain't no Chandler. All you need to do is sleep with your mouth closed or you'll eat a spider. I'm scared. Don't pull that. Chill, chill, chill. Don't pull that. Dude, this could be the dem Ah! Hey, chill. The bears might actually hear you. Bears are we, here. We need to draw our anti-sea bear circle. Hey, the good news is we probably won't get a bear because they'll walk over here and they'll be like, dude, these guys don't even have any food and their house looks like crap. I live better than this. And then they'll just walk away. I think this house is pretty good. When you go to the doctor, do you want a pretty good doctor or a pretty good surgeon? No, yeah. you want the best. Well, it's not our it? fault. We had to spend half the day chasing Chandler and then he decided to get poisoned. Actually, isn't that your fault entirely? You yeah. left him. Well, he went the other way. If a bear came, we'd probably have to run down the mountain, right? We'd probably all have to agree to just throw Tariq at it. And okay, we'll, but, 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 we hold on, hold on. Hey, let's start taking our safety seriously. <laughs> we need to set up these anti-bear circles. I literally am not getting up. I'm sorry. We can play Smash. I'd rather smash my head in with that pole up there. <laughs> yeah. Five. Since you guys don't want to take the safety series, I will. There's, that's not a good circle. You're already not doing it. Well, you don't think that'll stop a bear? No. I know it's not going to stop a bear because there's a bear right beside me. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't mess up on the circle. Everybody knows that ovals make them way more aggressive. I've got a perfect circumference. That's an oval. All right, we have a sea bear circle. It's an oval. It's an oval. It's an oval. Sea bear oval. Okay. All right, well, then they're going to be more aggressive. Sorry. How'd it go? I was in there for like four hours. They gave me an IV, just gave me some medicine. Just told me to get some rest and drink a lot of water. Feeling better? You wanna get some food? Yeah. All right. Chris, what did you find? I found a millipede, dude. Imagine like, it was in this bag. I was looking for a torch. Dude, what if he slithered right down your throat? Oh, where is he, where is he? He's going up in the bag, bro. How's he going up in the bag? Yeah, I'm gonna try and rescue him. We're now doing centipede rescue. Yo, look at his leg. You know what the worst part about the millipedes is? What? I hate you. See, you farted. Your fart was so bad, he had to leave the bag. Look at him going off into nature, like a little nature boy. Go underground and hide, little friend. Don't get eaten by a, a bird. What's up, guys? It's really late. 
Chandler is at the hospital. And uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna sleep. I'm literally sitting in a jungle right now. There's all kinds of critters out here and I'm, I'm gonna go to bed just randomly out with them. Okay, Jimmy looks actually very comfortable. Tariq, are you still recording? I am. All right, hold up. I got something. Don't fart. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna right fart. Here. You're like a caterpillar just about to turn into a butterfly in a second. About to turn into a <laughs> naked weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. On a scale of one to comfortable, how comfortable are you? About a three. The only thing that feels good is my head. What about the rest of your body? Slowly falling down a mountain into a fire. <laughs> you are so close to this fire. All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, what? 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 That was crawling on me. What was? What is that? It's a millipede, bro. So I was asleep. And for some reason, something woke me up, and I woke up, and there was a millipede crawling all over me, and it freaked me out because I don't like things crawling on me in my sleep. I'm gonna be honest, if I were you, I probably wouldn't just randomly walk into a rainforest and try to make a little fort and survive. I'd use a tent or something. Wonder what Chandler's up to. All right, guys, I'm in bed. Hopefully, uh, you guys don't get bit tonight by those caterpillars. Good morning. I just woke up. I feel pretty good. Hopefully the guys are okay. I'm about to go check on them. See you when we get there. Oh man, we just woke up after probably one of the worst night's sleep ever. We keep doing these videos and every time I'm like, that was the worst night's sleep I've ever had. This one is the new worst. My body hurts so bad. These guys are overreacting. I mean, yeah, the ground was a little rough, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know when or what time it happened, but felt that millipede fell on my face. I just uh. wake up and I just go what the and I seriously considered getting up and not doing this anymore how you doing Chan hey three how you feeling so better everyone's looking at me <laughs> <laughs> our makeshift tent surprisingly worked this log didn't break and send all the other logs onto our face, which is nice because a log to the face would have hurt, especially in the middle of the night. You guys heard how Chris reacted to a millipede. Hey, bugs are scary. Oh. Why do you have the knife again? It just finds its way into my hand. I, don't... I think Chandler faked being sick because he didn't want to sleep out here. I wish. You want to come join us? I'm not ever coming here again. <laughs> Cleaning right. time. Clean it up. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Just helping. Chandler, stop having sharp objects. Maybe the caterpillar felt threatened because you're always holding weapons. I was defenseless with my hula skirt on. And he just came up in my loins out of nowhere. In your loins? As you can see, we cleared up the campsite and we're not going to leave any trash behind. Watch out for bugs. Do research. Almost all these trees were dead trees on the ground, so we didn't really cut anything down, just to your aware. Camping is a lot of fun, but if you ever do do it, make sure you pick up after yourself. It's not good for the environment to leave plastic and trash, obviously. And speaking of the environment, if you're a YouTuber that wants to make an impact in any way, I want you to get in contact with me. We're going to plant a ton of trees, but I need a lot of YouTubers help. So tweet at me, comment on my Instagram, leave a comment on this video, just get in contact with me. I need an army of YouTubers. We really want to make a difference. And with that, I'll see you Jake Paulers later. <laughs>